Willkommen zu einem der meist gewünschten Games auf diesem Kanal. Seit Jahren wurde mir gesagt, bitte spiel Stanley Parable. Ich habe mir jetzt die Ultra Deluxe Edition geholt. Ich habe keine Ahnung, was los ist. Ich weiß nur, dass der Chat sich unfassbar gerade freut. Und wenn die sich freuen, bedeutet es das immer, dass es nicht gut ist für mich. <lacht> Falls ihr mal Bock habt, euch live im Chat mitzufreuen, kommt gern vorbei auf www.twitch.tv slash gnu live. Und ich würde mich sehr über ein Abo freuen auf diesem Kanal und über einen Daumen nach oben. Das bringt mir super, super viel. Und natürlich auch, kennt ihr das Game? Findet ihr es gut? Es wurde äußerst positiv auf Steam bewertet. Deswegen sagt mir gerne mal eure Meinung zu dem Spiel unten in der Beschreibung. Wir beginnen und ich bin sehr gespannt, was hier passiert. So, Spiel beginnen. Let's go. Klicken Sie. This is a story of a man named Stanley. Mm -hmm. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Das mache ich auch jeden Tag. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Das ist genau das, was wir Content Creator übrigens jeden Tag day, machen. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh oh, es sind ja voll die Backrooms. Soll es uns so ein bisschen sagen, dass wir jeden Tag unser gleiches kack langweiliges Leben leben und sobald was Neues kommt, reißt es uns direkt raus aus unserer Routine? Also, was ihr gerade gesehen habt, ist genau mein Alltag. Ich sitze eigentlich nur vorm PC und drücke zwei Knöpfe und ähm, das ist das, was ich mache. Also, auch so Kommentare sind deswegen gerechtfertigt, wenn man sagt, hey, wir Content Creator, wir arbeiten nichts, das mache ich. Und ähm, genau, das ist mein Job, das ist mein Streaming-Setup. So läuft es hier. So, okay. Ähm, 428 sind auch alle weg, ne? Hier ist keiner. Kann es sein, dass ich so lange gearbeitet habe? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ich glaube, Stanley hat einfach den ganzen Tag gearbeitet. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Das ist cool, dass der kommentiert. Das ist ein bisschen wie bei Little Miss Fortune. Ich glaube tatsächlich, dass ich einfach äh, zu viel gearbeitet habe und es vergessen habe. Ist auch voll der schreckliche Raum, ne? Aber es sehen halt echt viele Büros so aus. Wo ist Nummer 424? Die war doch gar... Oh, der, der Rechner ist gerade ausgegangen. Warte mal. Seht ihr das nochmal? Nee, der Rechner war gerade an. Das ist so verrückt. Es ist wie, als hätten die... hier auf einmal alle... ihren Platz verlassen müssen, ganz schnell. Super ungemütliches Büro. Und dann noch so ein ätzender Fleck. Hier eine runtergefallene Tasse. I hate Mondays. Jo. Oh, ich wollte schon immer in 4B3 arbeiten. Okay, irgendwas stimmt. When Stanley nicht. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Was passiert, wenn ich nicht das tue? Was der Erzähler mir sagt. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <lacht> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wie so eine schlechte Freundin, die dir einredet, dass du das eigentlich gerade falsch machst, aber trotzdem dann die Geschichte richtig erzählt. Geil. Geil, wie er es einfach rum erzählt. Richtig witzig. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. 
It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautiful... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Ja, ist halt die Frage, wie bei mir Little Miss Fortune es so machen, dass wir jetzt dem Erzähler... Ich gehe jetzt mal erstmal davor aufs Klo, ich widersetze mich mal. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <lacht> Geil. <lacht> ja, das bin ich. Okay, do not jump from the cargo. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Geil. Okay, okay, okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, what okay, okay. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Aber ich weiß Perhaps nicht. he had simply missed a memo. Ich weiß nicht, ob wir dem vertrauen können. Wisst ihr, was ich meine? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ich will mal gucken, ob der noch mal das gleiche sagt oder ob er jetzt versteht, der Erzähler, dass ich das schon mal gemacht habe. This was not the correct way to oh, the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Ah verdammt, okay, die Tür geht zu. Dann mache ich jetzt aber mal, was er sagt. <lacht> das ist witzig, wie ironisch der. Wow. Yes. This room what a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even okay, to be But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, jetzt machen wir jetzt mal. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Oh, ups, das wollte ich gar nicht. Oh, oh, jetzt werde ich wieder angemotzt. Kann ich wieder hoch? Oh. Ever? Was? Oh Gott, But Hilfe. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here it's, um, left. Wie witzig einfach! Ist das geil! Ey, das ist ja voll cool. Du kannst ja übel durch, wie du willst. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Okay, ist aber echt gruselig, ne? No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, krass. Ist das witzig. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Genauso ist übrigens auch, wenn ich meine Aufnahmen mache. Ich habe die ganze Zeit jemand im Ohr, der mir genau sagt, was ich machen muss. <lacht> äh, oh Gott, bringt der mich jetzt um? Oh Gott, oh was? No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is what? all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get to, um, oh, who am I kidding? Was ist das hier? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Nein! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hm? Nein! Okay. From the top. <laughs> oh man, this is dumb. Okay. All his co-workers were gone. Uh, what could it mean? Yeah, okay. Stanley ich mag decided das, was to go sagt. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Aber ich glaube, ich ich weiß nicht, ob man ob eigentlich der Sinn des Spiels sich zu widersetzen oder ob man der Storyline folgen soll. When Stanley, wait, wait, what? No, huh? I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Nein. Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, God, where should I go? 
Ich bin immer so, wir gehen jetzt einfach mal hier hin. Okay, wir müssen jetzt quasi einfach mal selbstständig rausfinden, was passiert ist. Das finde ich sehr, oh Gott, diese Räumlichkeiten sind einfach nur furchtbar. Ich gehe jetzt irgendwo hin. Wir suchen jetzt einfach die Story, Leute. Was ist mit unseren Kolle Kollegen passiert? Hm. Was ist denn hier los? Everyone knows what you did. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Nein! Ich will gerade well, lesen. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Er startet die ganze Zeit beim Spiel neu! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh Gott. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Oh, verdammt. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? The script is completely kaputt jetzt. Ich hab das voll Backroom Feelings hier, gell? Finde ich auch. Ich hab's leider zerstört. Das Spiel. I crashed the game, bevor es überhaupt starten konnte. Ich spiel das Spiel jetzt gerade mal 10 Minuten. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Okay. Also weiter oder in die Richtung? Ich bin so irritiert. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and okay. retrace our steps. Okay, okay, alles gut. Ich, ich, ich befolge jetzt deinen Rat. Hä? Oh mein Gott. Was? Äh. Uh. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hm. Do you remember, Stanley? Nein. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yeah! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Nein. <lacht> oh. All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Die Parable Abenteuer Adventure Linie. Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay. Ich hab's. Ich werde dich nie wieder dir widersetzen. Guck mal, wie gut ich das mach. Schau mal. Wo you see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I'm okay, going. Okay, it's about wild here. What? You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Einfach so weird. <lacht> Was soll das Spiel ich hier? Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely 
and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, ich habe mir diese Pflanze einstudiert. Warum auch immer sie wichtig sein sollte. Was steht hier eigentlich alles? Personal Files. Ähm, sieht aus, als würden wir hier sehr krass überwacht werden. Aber ich habe ja vorhin schon irgendwas gesehen, was die Story übel spoilern soll. <lacht> das Lied könnte echt zu einem Weihnachtsfilm Wait, kommen. We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Verdammt, es gibt keine Storyline. Das Spiel hat ja laut den Leuten hier im Chat 100 verschiedene ähm, Story-Zweige. Und ich kann jetzt auch hier zum Beispiel lang gehen. Oh mein Gott, ich bin schon wieder hier. Oh no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Nein, ich war nur. Mann. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Ja, eigene Something Geschichte. Exciting. Ja, Dumb, geheimnisvolles. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Mm, mach mal auf. Die Räume sehen einfach eh alle gleich aus. Einfach nur Backrooms. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley. I'm ready for it. Okay. Okay. Oh no, oh, not nein. you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Oh Gott, wie die Linien auch irgendwie gemalt sind. Es wird einfach alles immer. Ich kann ja drücken. Ich kann, ja, ich kann ja Dinge drücken. Du kannst nicht springen. <lacht> ich habe die Errungenschaft, ich kann nicht springen bekommen. Oh mein Gott. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here the story is in our control. Okay. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to Is go, so? there must be a reverse door <laughs> that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh. Oh, was? Du spielst das Verwirrungsende seit 17 Minuten? Warte mal, was ist denn das alles? Der Ver das Verwirrungsende. Vom Wartungsraum abweichen, im Monitor ankommen. Ach krass, das ist meine, meine, meine Storyline. Erster Neustart, zweiter Neustart, vierter Neustart, achter Neustart. Wir mussten achtmal neu starten. Der Erzähler ist verschwunden, lange Zeit äh, später Stanley stirbt. Was? Das ist ja meine Story, okay. Das Büro ist jetzt eine Sackgasse umdrehen und noch eine Sackgasse vorfinden. In einem anderen Gebäude landen. Erzähler startet das Spiel neu, dritter Start, Abenteuerlinien, Nonsens, Philosophie und Musik. Rückkehr ins Büro, Rückkehr zum Monitorraum. Vierter Neustart, Abenteuer in bisher unentdeckte Bereiche, Linie wiederfinden. Ablaufplan für Verwirrungsende finden. Erzähler startet Spiel neu. Fünfter Start Erzähler erinnert sich nicht an bisherige Starts. Stanley versucht die Story zu spielen, wird aber verhindert. Aber da sind wir noch nicht. Ich glaube, wir sind gerade bei vierter Start neu. Was oh, ist? Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? Nein. Is really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? 
Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing. Wall. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... Oh, no, oh. it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. Yeah, ja, richtig so. I don't so. want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. Ja, I sehr won't gut. do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Sehr gut. And the time it uh, stopped? Uh oh, oh, some is crashed. Mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Ich habe keine Ahnung. So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, ja. in the meantime, if you do... Nein, es wurde noch... <laughs> <laughs> oh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he was simply missed a memo. What? It's abgestürzt, ne? Um Gottes Willen. Und er hat's vergessen, ne? Heißt es, dass wir unserem Schicksal nicht entkommen können? Möchte das Spiel uns das sagen? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Das mache ich jetzt mal. Ha. Vielleicht ich hätte ich hätte mir den Weg merken müssen, weil dann wüsste ich jetzt, hätte ich mir den Weg gemerkt, dass ich genau das Gegenteil mache, was auf diesem Board gestanden ist. Verdammt. Aber hier waren wir noch nicht, da fahren wir mehr Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Financial panic meeting. We are broke Wednesday. Boss impression. Group group. Ideas. Development. <laughs> Weekly review. IT dev. This is a guy. Finance panic meeting. <laughs> okay. Oh. Everyone is unique. Jeder ist einzigartig. Du bist das einzigartigste von allen. Okay. Steht hier so drauf. Number of slides on the slide. Charts, charts and slides, slides. Monetar, was? Monetize free to play. Help, I'm a post-it. Rate at which charts on the same slide. Rate of increase. Also das steht einfach nur irgendein Müll. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy. Also quasi Dinge, Geld, mehr Geld, Dinge mit dem sie Geld kaufen können. Oh, geil. Okay. Das ist der Meetingraum. Weiter geht's. Okay, hoch oder Coming runter. To staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wir machen jetzt mal das, was es sagt. Oh, hier. Excuse, uh, executive bathroom. Oh, das ist ein Bathroom. Was steht hier? To be rich. Es ist, äh, es ist äh, ein Verbrechen, reich zu sein. To commit crimes, isn't it rich? Also um quasi äh, äh, Kriminalität zu begehen, ist das nicht Reichtum? Um, what a life it would be to have to pick just one. Was für ein Leben wäre es, wenn ich nur eine dieser Auswahlen wählen könnte? Extreme bathrooms. <lacht> Okay, das ist also sein Bart. Haben wir schon mal gesehen. Sehr schön. Der hat also keine Probleme, der Dude. Hier sieht es auf jeden Fall schon mal sehr schön aus. Oh, ich kann die auch öffnen, die Türen. Wie der arme Panda. Okay, das ist dem Boss sein Zimmer. Wir gucken mal, ob wir hier noch irgendwas finden. Geh mal hier nach hinten, einfach weil es mich interessiert. Panda, Panda, Panda. Business Strategy. Mhm. Business Strategie. Oh, guck mal, ich kann auch Aufzug fahren. Ich muss gar nicht daran. Sollen wir jetzt mal zum Boss gehen oder soll ich weiterfahren? Oder hoch? Hm. Ich gehe mal zum Boss. 
Sonst haben wir das Problem, dass wir vielleicht noch von vorne starten. Oh, schee. Das nenne ich mal Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, wo? Hier. Was war's nochmal? 2, 4, 8. 2, 8, 4, 5. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laacs> random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct Voll code the by sheer gamer luck. Here. <laughs> Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Das ist ja richtiges Backseat Gaming. Ist wie wenn ich mit der Community spiele. Der ist wie ein Twitch Chat. Genau das ist es. Okay. Dann gehen wir mal runter. Ah, da war ich doch vorhin schon. Ach, ich bin vorhin schon voll weit gecheatet. Vielleicht hat er unsere ganzen Mitarbeiter zu Fleisch verarbeitet. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Yeah. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, yeah. as though he felt more free to think for himself, yeah. to question the yeah. nature of his job. Yeah. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Weil ich nie aus meiner question would not go unanswered for long. Weil ich nie aus meiner Komfortzone gehen musste, deswegen. Oh. Der Aufzug ist kaputt. Gott, was passiert denn hier? Wo sind wir? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control oh. Facility. Escape. Oh. <lacht> Ich will escapen. Es ist wieder so. Escape ist bestimmt wieder Neustart, ne? Ich bin so neugierig. Okay, komm, wir gehen zur Mind Control Facility. Okay, das heißt, wir sind hier wahrscheinlich. Unsere Gedanken werden hier manipuliert. Oop. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Ach, okay. Stanley thought to himself. Das haben wir schon gesehen. Did he have the strength to find out? Sie war Resident Evil 2. <lacht> okay, ich habe die Macht. Sei ein Gnu, du kannst es schaffen und drück die Buttons. Now the monitors <lacht> jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Wusstet ihr, dass ich zu Hause auch so einen geheimen Raum habe, wo ich von jedem Mensch da draußen, der mich abonniert hat, auch so einen Bildschirm habe? Ignoriert das Surren in euren Schlafzimmer. Das ist nicht die Kamera. <lacht> Wir wussten das, aber es stört euch irgendwie auch nicht. Hat auch keiner gemeldet. Welcher Employee war ich? Ich war doch 400, was war meine Nummer? 408, da oben bin dann ich, ne? 408, da ist mein Zimmer. Aber wird hiermit beendet. <lacht> was habe ich an? Hellfire, du hast heute eine schwarze Unterhose an. Habe ich recht? Ich muss gucken, ob Hellfire hat wirklich eine schwarze Unterhose an. Und du hast schwarze Socken an. Ich bin 427. Da bin ich. Ich überwache euch alle. Mir kannt. Ja, Brokkoli wird künftig aufgegessen. <lacht> ja, das stimmt zu 100%. <lacht> Aber ich habe so gedacht, weil du bist. Ich dachte, Männer haben immer schwarze Socken und schwarze Unterhosen an. Also eher als weiße, oder? Sehe ich gerade Humbug. 
Es ist eigentlich egal. Mind Control Facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Kann es sein, dass der mit mir redet, gerade auch mein Chef ist und mich wieder manipuliert? Okay. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Nein. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Ja, lass uns die Gedankenkontrolle zerstören. Achso, ich muss die jetzt wahrscheinlich nach der Reihenfolge herausschalten, oder? Wo ist denn die 1? 3, 2, 1. Die Community ist gerade sehr aufgeregt, weil ich ihnen erzählt habe, dass ich Kameras bei ihnen installiert habe. 1. Das ist wahrscheinlich ein Code, den ich hier irgendwo finden muss und eingeben muss. Hier, ich brauche einen Code. Ich brauche ein schwarzes Unterhemd an. Aber das weiß ich sicher auch. Ja, deswegen, ich wollte jetzt nicht zu viel von dir preisgeben, weil es ja unangenehm ist. Deswegen habe ich jetzt nur die ein, zwei Sachen genannt. Ich glaube, ich brauche einen Code. I need a code. Hier, Mind Control, Idle, Awaiting, Input. Oh, das ist gruselig. Was ist denn das hier? System Power, on or off. And when at last he found the source of the room's power... He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Also off. Jetzt auch anmachen können, ne? So viele Entscheidungen. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from yeah. someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments Freedom. away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay oh. unsolved. To be Where by, had his by stray. Gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Nivida. Whatever life he lives, it will wow. be his. And that was all he needed to know. Wow! It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh, wirklich? Darf ich? Oder kann ich auch wieder zurück? Nein, komm, wir gehen jetzt. <laughs> oh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path oh. before him. This was exactly the way right now that things were meant to happen and stanley was happy yeah. schlage das spiel errungenschaft yes okay we are not done yet my friends all of his co-workers were gone What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, weiter. Ich war doch draußen. Warum komme ich immer wieder hier an in den Backrooms? 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wir gucken mal, was passiert, wenn ich den Strom anschalte. Falls wir da überhaupt wieder hinkommen oder falls der jetzt wieder die Nachrichten alle verändert. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Ja, es gibt ja noch mega viel zu entdecken, there. Leute. Ich gehe jetzt nochmal hoch und Coming wir machen... To a Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ja, wir gehen jetzt mal nochmal hier entlang. Wie war der Code nochmal? Bevor er sagt, office. schnell! Stan Wie war der Code, bevor er sagt? Ich hätte es mal im Ladescreen gelesen. The end is never. Ach, das Ende ist niemals. 2, 8, 4, 5. Er war once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single <laughs> minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Geil. Nein! <laughs> okay. Feeling soothed okay. and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay, okay, okay. Es gibt so viel zu entdecken. So viel zu entdecken. Hier können wir auch nachher hochfahren. Wir haben so viele Möglichkeiten. Wir müssen das immer und immer wieder spielen, Leute. <lacht> okay. Immer wieder spielen, immer wieder spielen, immer wieder von vorn. Never ending day. Let's go. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nachher Escape, Leute. Nachher Escape. So. Up. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Aber es macht das Spiel so nahbar, dass der Erzähler eigentlich genau weiß, dass wir schon mal hier waren. Das ist so witzig. Knöpfe. Up. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Ja, wow, der Raum noch nie gesehen. Krass, sie werden alle überwacht. Was? Skandal. Aufzug. Let's this go, Leute. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yay! No! Ye he refused to no. believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world und irgendein code kann man hier doch auch eingeben the, proof, the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content da geht die tür nämlich auf eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place da geht and die as tür the cold auf. reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Gibt's hier irgendeinen Code? Bestimmt. Also, wir müssen uns merken. Wir müssen noch zum Escape gehen. Wir müssen noch ähm, beim Boss in einem Aufzug nach unten gehen. Den anderen Weg lang gehen. Hier rausgehen. Ähm, und hier diesen Code eingeben. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Machen wir dann nochmal. Aber jetzt gucken wir erstmal, wenn wir anmachen. So. At last, he found the source of the room's An. power. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? <laughs> After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? <gasps> yeah! Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. 
If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, uh -oh. nuclear detonators are sent to explode, uh -oh. eliminating the entire complex. Uh -oh. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Oh, what? Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. Ah, here, what a shame here. we have so little time left to enjoy it. Incorrect. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one here. of them is. More time Was to talk about das? you, about me. Ich muss die where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. Okay, ich muss die vier What's drücken. That? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Oh God, Hilfe! A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Also, it's I hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Man, what must I do? What must I do? Also, he is the böse. He is the god in this game. Was muss ich tun? Weiß nicht, was ich tun muss? An der Wand steht 0142. So okay, you know aber what? 0 gibt's nicht. Steht hier überall. These are precious additional seconds. Ich muss die Farbe drücken. Ah. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is nee. it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. I have no idea. Ah, we will die. Screen button. to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Ah, ah, okay. Here we go. Something here will save me. Also, lila is two. That this video game can be beaten. One solved. Do you have any ich hab idea Ahnung. what your purpose in this place Nein, is? Weiß ich nicht. Der soll die Schnauze halten. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted okay, to control this world. Zwei. That's fine, but I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye, employee 427. What? Clock, <laughs> That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. No. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No. no Just you being blown to pieces. Bitte nicht. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, oh, or will you God. let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the ich same thing. It's all a part of the joke. And believe me, ah, Leute, I will be laughing every dead. second of your inevitable life from Vier. the moment we fade Drei. in until the moment Drei. I say happily ever after. What must I do? Even the confusion is confused. Is there any help? Was it you? So I escape now. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes. Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Yeah, murder. Okay, we escape me jetzt mal. So, escapen. Jetzt reicht's mir. Weiß jemand, wie das Ende geht? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Hat jemand eine he entered the door on his left. Was man da machen muss, weil ich glaube, da hat ja der Erzähler... 
der erzählt das eigentlich ein ziemlich guter Freund, der ist nicht so böse. Ja, gerne, Leigi. Ich glaube, dass, also er hat ja gesagt, er spielt ja mit den Employees, oder? Ich habe nicht so richtig aufpassen können. So. Können wir nicht auch jetzt einfach schon runter? Ah, den Aufzug müssen wir auch noch mal verwenden. Das machen wir aber nachher. Es gibt so viele Möglichkeiten, ne? Wie war der Code noch mal? Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Bla, bla, bla. <lacht> Dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. <lacht> okay, hat sie erledigt. <lacht> Geil. Okay. So. Wie witzig. Ich, ich hau jetzt mal ab. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nee. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh my God! Ever, oh God. Ich lebe ja noch. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh my god, ich werde jetzt zermatscht. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He oh, doesn't know oh. the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Nein, kann ich ruhig kann er nicht springen, ne? Oh nein. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh Gott, schrecklich. Stanley. Oh Gott. Welche Seite gucke ich jetzt an? Äh. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Aber... Hä? Ich lebe doch noch. Ich bin doch noch am Leben. The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Jetzt bin ich, jetzt bin ich gestorben. When every path oh. you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh. Es war wichtig, das Spieltempo in diesem ersten Abschnitt richtig einzustellen. Dieser Korridor wurde verschoben und verändert, um sicherzustellen, dass der Spieler die beiden Türen in einer guten Zeit erreicht. Ach süß sind die Gedanken des Entwicklers. Bürogrundriss. Dieser Plan zeigt das Büro vom Spielanfang. Der Weg von Stanleys Büro zu den beiden Türen war der erste Teil des Spiels, der gebaut wurde. Im Laufe der Entwicklung wurden Abschnitte hinzugefügt und verändert, aber der Kerngrundriss ist fast identisch zum ersten Durchlauf. <lacht> Süß. Die Arbeitsschränke. Das ist geil. Die zwei Türen, die zwei Türen öffnen, die zwei offenen Türen waren der erste konkrete Teil des The Stanley Parable Designs. Als dieser Raum erstellt worden war, entwickelte sich der Rest des Spiels als eine Erweiterung davon, eine Erkundung des Widerspruchs, den dieser Raum darstellte. Mein Schrank. Das Büro. <lacht> Knopfgeräusche. Eine Auswahl an Geräuschen, die im gesamten Spiel beim Drücken von Knöpfen verwendet werden. 
Oh. Das ist lustig. Wäre Computer. Oh, ich hab's ausgepackt. Ausgeschaltet. Credits. Hier ist eigentlich das Ende. Wo gehe ich jetzt lang? Hier geht die Ausstellung, glaube ich, weiter. Das ist witzig, das ist eine Ausstellung. Das Büro. Voll die Riesenausstellung. Hier ist volles Museum. Das ist dumm. Schlachtfeld. Kann ich da auch noch hin? Schön früh in der Entwicklung haben wir ein Ende entworfen, bei dem Stanley auf einem Schlachtfeld landet und gegen Aliens kämpft. Was? Das Actionspiel sollte empfindungsfähig werden und Krieg gegen den Erzähler führen. Was? Okay. Was zur Hölle ist das hier? From Forest will the Stanley Parable have infinite quests? How many endings? How do you make a uh, JRPG? Hm. Wie viele Enden hat das Spiel eigentlich? Weiß es jemand? The Lounge. Das sind, glaube ich, die ganzen Enden, die du bekommen hast. Die Wohnungs-, der Wohnungstimer. Ey, da gibt's doch, da kriegst du die ganzen Spoiler. One Option, Two Option, Vent. Boah, es gibt so viele Options hier. Einfach Hilfe. Was zur Hölle passiert hier? Die Schalter. Oh Gott, es gibt so viel. Es hat 19. Trailer. Hier ist der Stanley Parable Trailer. Oh mein Gott, Leute. Das ist echt eine never ending story. 19? Es kommt mir aber irgendwie mehr vor. Obwohl 19 einfach schon unfassbar viel ist. Exit. Oh, sag mal, ist das riesig, ey. Das ist so ein Museum, wo du durchgehst mit der Schulklasse und denkst, wann endet es endlich? Okay, ah, hier, okay, da gab es gerade einen Exit, da gehen wir jetzt lang. Was passiert hier noch? Hier geht's auch noch hin. Mhm. Oh, was ist das? Erzähler Outtakes. Where were all of his co-workers? Oh, I don't know. How about then? He was throwing a surprise before. party for him, for all his button pushing. Was that some... Ich muss hier weg! Stanley pushed the big okay. Ich spoilere mich gerade echt selber, ne? <lacht> wow, so viel Enden. Ich habe aber auch schon den Anfang innerhalb von... Die Story innerhalb von einer Minute auszusehen gespoilert. Der Spoiler des Spoilers. Hier ist der Exit. So. <lacht> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Nein. As, long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Ich mach's mal nicht, weil auf einmal ist es ja auch eine ganz andere Stimme. Whatever you do, choose it. Nein! Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. <lacht> Mann, ist das so verwirrend. Noch nie wollte ein Spiel von mir freiwillig beendet werden. Dass ein Spiel mich mal anbetet, dass ich es beende, hatte ich auch noch nicht. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Drück mal bitte fünfmal auf die Tür 430. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling Man! it. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 
Wo habt ihr mich hier reingebracht? Leute. Wessen blöde Idee war das hier? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. <lacht> Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks Mann, or so. Mann, der verarscht mich voll. Ich will mich nicht mehr verarschen lassen. Ich kann nicht mehr. Der macht sich richtig unlustig über mich. Now back to door number 437. Ich musste noch nie so zu viel tun für ein scheiß Achievement auf Steam. Ja? Wir merken gerade alle, wie lächerlich Let's das see. ist. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know... The copy machine. Wo ist sie denn? Wo ist... Ah, hier. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Ich kann nicht climben. Ich kann nicht climpen und das weiß der ganz genau. Yes, ja, doch. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh Mann, ich fühle mich so verarscht. We've almost got it. Ja. Now the copy machine, do that one again. <lacht> oh, ist der Kackkopierer. Ich fühle mich richtig verarscht gerade. Ich kann das gar nicht ernst nehmen. Shit off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three yeah. zero. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we did it. <laughs> oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Yeah. Just think, only a few minutes ago you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really now, what were you thinking? Okay, we gain jetzt. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wir gehen jetzt zu dem Aufzug beim Chef runter und dann mal hoch. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Und hier können wir auch noch runtergehen. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So. Lass mal da lang düsen. Wir gehen mal runter. Runter, oder? Und dann nächstes Mal hoch. Hm, ist dieser Aufzug. Und wisst ihr, was das Wichtigste ist? Meine Community wusste es, hat mir nichts gesagt. <lacht> Ihr Schweine. Die Tür ist schon offen. Door, just go. <lacht> okay, jetzt gehen wir mal hoch. Ey, ich wollte hoch. Ich wollte eindeutig hoch. Können wir mal darüber sprechen, wie das jetzt funktioniert, wenn ich den Button nicht drücke. Wie geht es? Please. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Wie funktioniert es hier? Weiß es jemand? Please help me. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Habt ihr geholfen? Wo denn? Ich habe nichts gesehen. Oh Gott. Ah, okay. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Was ist, wenn ich Spiel erneut Beginn mache? Weil wir können es nicht ändern. Also ich habe gerade erfahren, wir können es nicht verhindern. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? 
What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <lacht> es gibt keine Antwort. Geil. Okay, wo kann ich das eingeben, Likey? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. erfahren, dass man hier irgendwie raus kann. Aber wie kann ich... Wie kann ich da raus? Ich komme da gar nicht hin. Man kann hier irgendwie durchs Fenster. Aber wie? Ich komme hier gar nicht rüber. Oh, jetzt. Ich bin entkommen. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah. Nein? Ich möchte, wieso geht das nicht? Hello? Nein. Ah, then in I that case we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Hey, jetzt lässt du mich einfach hier allein. Was soll ich jetzt tun? Muss ich jetzt wieder neu starten? Wir probieren es noch mal die Treppe runter zu gehen beim Chef. Oh, workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So. Wir gehen jetzt mal die When Treppen Stanley runter. Came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Ah, stimmt, der Farm, an den sollte ich mich ja erinnern. 
Warum eigentlich? Er hat doch gesagt, er wird ganz wichtig. Why? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nein, Stanley geht runter. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Stimmt, wir wissen his immer noch nicht, wo die hin sind, ne? And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single huh? moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Hier läuft man um And Kreis. as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. Yeah. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His oh God, this is so deathloop yet. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. Oh my God. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing hey, this my is so thoughts. Schrecklich. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... Ah, ich dreh durch! He would, prove, he would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Huh? Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have oh, an man office. Kann nicht mehr I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Man kann nicht zurück. 
This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. <laughs> Nine. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, oh, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wow. Holy shit, wie traurig. Never the end, never the end, never the end. Wir haben noch ein paar Sachen, die ich gerne ausprobieren würde. All of his co-workers were so. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Muss ich die in der Reihenfolge machen, die Computer, oder ist es egal? Oh shit, da kann ich jetzt nicht mehr rein. Moment. So. Wie mache ich denn das? Ach so, nee, doch nicht. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, das machen wir danach. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New content? Oh, new content. <laughs> What does that mean? New content. Oh! Neuer Content! Woohoo! Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Yeah. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mm -hmm. a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Mm -hmm. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Mm -hmm. Bisschen Five Nights at Freddy's vibes. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yeah. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Yeah. Um. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. Ah. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Extra the Deluxe Edition gekauft für euch. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as <laughs> if the... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Oh, back rooms. The jump All circle. Right. All right, let's see. It's. <gasps> ich kann springen. Oh, ich kann springen. Ich kann springen. Finally, I can jump. So many new options. Yeah. La 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 Ach, verbleibende Sprünge. Das schreibt gerade immer, verbrauch nicht alle, verdammt. Ich glaube, das war komplett falsch. Aber das ist ja... New Content. Oh Gott. 
Aber das sollte doch so sein. Das haben die doch mit das, Absicht. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yeah. If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. What? Yeah, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Keine Sprünge mehr, ne? Das ist dumm. Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Personally? <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Nein, ich will hier bleiben. Oh, nein! Habe ich die Sprünge verkackt? 30 Euro für einen Sprungkreis? Nein. Guck mal, hier ist doch jetzt was Neues. Hier nur 30 muss ich gehen. Nein, nein, nein. Aber kann ich jetzt wirklich nicht mehr springen? Ernsthaft? Psst, oh. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Oh. Ah, Minecraft. Oh. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be. <laughs> it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Oh. I call it the memory zone. Oh, it's Midsummer. where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh, Midsummer. <laughs> oh, memories. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back Our then, first kiss, my first kiss. The release back then, of it Stanley it all meant Parable. something. Oh, the waste. Oh, it's hat sich hier so ein eigenes Museum gemacht, weil früher alles besser war. Früher war alles besser. Oh, voll das schöne Gebäude. Voll schön mit diesem Sepia-Ton hier drauf. So ein Filter. Voll schön. Oh, ein Klavier da oben. Oh, Wie lieblich. Je suis dans la la Jetzt wird er aber sentimental. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of oh, them. Persona and 3 now, is so a game. It's nothing. It's no games at all. 
It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <lacht> Der Elevator Content. Krass, wie gut es abgeschnitten hat hier, ne? Ja. Oh, da geht's in den Keller. Wir gehen ins Keller. Memory Zone. Ich will da rein! Lass mich in deine Memory Zone! <lacht> in Teamer geht's nicht, oder? Person of the Year. Ich, aber man sieht mich nicht. Oh. Was zur Hölle ist das hier? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Ah, die Tür ist jetzt offen. Ah, ich kann nicht mehr springen. Nein, ich kann nicht mehr springen. Ich habe meine Sprünge alle ab weggelassen. Nein, nein, rächt sich das jetzt wirklich? Nein, ist nicht dein Ernst, oder? Nein, oder? The Serious Room. Ich will in den ernsthaften Raum. Nee, oder? These were simpler times, Stanley. Ah, die ist aufgegangen. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Ja, lass mich Surely rein. These reviews were glowing ja, as well, Rezension. Oh, da hat jemand's nicht empfohlen. Hier, was ist, was ist schlecht? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Is this here the Ebene der Hater? Is this so a bisschen the passage where I can't go in, because here the hate against him is here is wieder another negative negative review. <laughs> What's steht here? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. <laughs> preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. For noodle oh, shop. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse. To be <laughs> you can't know how much shop. fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel oh, as geil. light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. Oh, noodle But shop. maybe it wasn't. <laughs> oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Oh. Like I let these people down. Oh. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Oh, so it's so fertig gemacht worden vom Hate der Leute. Ey, das ist so lustig. Aber cool, mit was das auseinandersetzt. Nudelschaf hat's ins Game geschafft, man. Geil. Oh, wieder ein Hate-Kommentar. What's this one got to say? Du, 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 Cookie du, du, du. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Ist das geil eingebunden? 
And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, no. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say yeah, about oh this, God. and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe Whoa. 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's uh -oh. no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't to reden. control anything in this room, Stanley. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, er ist oh, alt goodness. geworden. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? <laughs> Oh. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place? <laughs> <laughs> Die Uhr bleibt stecken, oder? Oh, jetzt redet er nicht mehr. Oh, ist er jetzt tot? Oh, oh. Oh oh. Oh, die Uhr. Was piepst du denn so doof? Ist es der Button? Ich glaube, jetzt habe ich es übertrieben. Ich glaube, dem geht's jetzt nicht mehr. Ich habe so weit vorgespult, dass der Erzähler gestorben ist, oder? Rauchmelder. Oh oh. Ah, hier oben. Ich kann nichts machen. Okay. But they didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed. Jetzt ist wieder leise. Ich kann den Knopf auch nicht mehr drücken. Ah, doch jetzt. The end is never 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 Oh god, wie gruselig. Das war nicht so eine gute Idee mit dem Vorsprung. Oh mein Gott. Der Vorspulknopf war nicht so eine coole Idee. Ähm hm, oh. Sehe ich hier irgendwas? Gibt es hier irgendwas? Da lag doch irgendeine Schüssel. Ich habe es genau gesehen. Licht. 
<laughs> nee, nichts Besonderes. It's getting interesting. Let's push the button again. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, wie weit spule ich denn vor? Hört es wieder alles weg? Oh, ist ganz schön dunkel und gruselig. Kann ich bitte den Knopf schnell wieder drücken? Hallo? Vorhin hat es mir besser gefallen. Wo bin ich? Oh. Oh mein Gott. Ist der Button kaputt? Verdammt. Was zur Hölle? Ah, ah, die Sonne! Atomkrieg, alles wurde zerstört, ne? Irgendwas war doch. Ich habe die Zeit zu sehr vorgeskippt. Oh. Oh. Okay. Already this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. <lacht> Wir probieren jetzt noch mal ein anderes Ende aus. Und zwar muss ich dazu... Immer einen PC neu starten. Wie starte ich denn neu? Indem ich einfach drauf drücke, oder wie? Das reicht, oder wie? Und dann neu starten. Okay. Erneut beginnen. Und dann müssen wir zu 423. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah. Okay. Spiel neu beginnen. Dann brauchen wir Computer der Chefsekretärin. Das ist ja, glaube ich, wenn ich Stanley ganz decided to go to the meeting room to check on his weitergehe, oder? He never functioned well by himself. Muss ich den jetzt unterfahren? Ist es die Chefsekretärin? Das ist jetzt wahrscheinlich da. <lacht> New Content! Da müssen wir nochmal rein, das machen wir gleich. Ähm, da muss ich doch einfach so... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ja, ja, ich bin schon die Treppen äh, runtergelatscht. So, dann nochmal neu starten. Dann 400. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? No matter how hard Stan Okay. Wo sind eigentlich meine Kollegen? Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. Ich bin im Himmel. Das sind überall Buttons. Oh Gott, Hilfe. Ist ja wie bei Besagt die Golden Age hier. Und was mache ich jetzt hier? Also ich weiß, ob ich Hamel so geil finden würde, wenn es so wäre. Muss ich die Buttons drücken? Ich muss die jetzt nicht ernsthaft alle ausschalten. Ernsthaft.
Nein, ist nicht euer Ernst. Ah ne, es bringt gar nichts. Die aktivieren sich immer wieder. Ich muss die nicht ernsthaft alle ausmachen, oder? Du kannst nichts tun, musst neu starten. Okay. Ne, die gehen auch immer wieder an. Okay, kann man scheinbar nichts tun, man muss es neu starten. Ich würde aber jetzt gerne auch mal in die neue Content-Ecke gehen. Und die Leute sagen, ich soll in die Abstellkammer. Wo finde ich denn die Abstellkammer? Wo ist die Abstellkammer? Wo ist der Abstellraum? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, bleib hier. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Hmm. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> yeah. The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Yeah, so many community. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Whoa. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their Aww. place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Macht er jetzt noch was, oder? Muss ich noch warten? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on. 
You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. <laughs> a fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Gibt's hier irgendwas Feines? Okay, und jetzt macht er nichts mehr, oder? Oder einfach drin bleiben. Okay, das war's jetzt. Ich hab gemeint, irgendein Telefon hat geleuchtet. Kann sie aber leider nicht mehr zurückgehen. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Deswegen würde ich jetzt ganz gerne einmal noch mal den neuen Content anschauen. Es gibt ja noch mehr neuen Content. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Oh good, you notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Yeah. Mehr Content. Mhm. Mhm. Mal gucken, was er mir noch so zu bieten hat. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable. And about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Wow! Showcase! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Just the two of us, we can make it if we try, just the two of us. Calling it the Building castles in the just sky, so just the two of us. Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe, what does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement. Oh, right schöne there. Büros. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Oh Gott. Secret ID. Stanley can throw axes. Also, ich kann Axe schmeißen. Can get boons. Uh, dress up mode. Ich kann mich ankleiden. Nude Stanley. Es gibt Nacken Stanley. New York City. Jetpack Fuel Consister. Ähm, weiß eigentlich jemand, wo die ganzen Mitarbeiter hin verschwunden sind? Gibt es dafür eine Theorie? The color red. Gefällt mir. Sieht richtig stylisch aus. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay, der Entwickler oder der Sprecher hat die scheinbar alle ausgelöscht. This way to the show floor. B -b 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 new features. Präsentier mal. Los, ich setze mich auch extra hin. Das ist witzig wie so ein Red Carpet. Als er Erzähler beim Countdown gelabert hatte, meinte er, er hat die doch gelöscht. Ja, wow, look at this. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Hear your name in the game. Das ist lustig. The button that says the For name the of the player. Two, I asked myself, Warte mal. What do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. 
So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Oh, man! But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, wo ist der then you'll never knopf, understand the so viel button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> Now, allow yourself to become Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim. Playing frisbee. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless <laughs> button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? So, soll das alles wirklich in Stanley Parable 2? Da, 2? 2? Oh Gott, wie rede ich denn? 2? Dann Jim kommt. Play the Stanley Parable An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Wo ist denn die Bucket? Oh, was ist denn das? Ah, Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward Was sind denn Menschen außen rum? Sind es die Mitarbeiter? I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Okay. Komm ja nicht näher. Oder komme ich näher? Doch, ich komme näher. Oh Gott. Das ist nur so langsam, dass man es gar nicht schnallt. Ja, ich komme näher. Das sind alles die Mitarbeiter, um Gottes Willen. Yes. Muss ich hier runter? Ah, der Eimer ist da hoch. Ja, dann gehen wir da jetzt lang. New Feature. A so. common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact... Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. <laughs> the benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay. Okay, dann gehen wir jetzt ins Loch. Wo ist das? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Wo ist dieses da infinite hole? Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Immer gespannt. Da infinite hole. The hole entrance. 
Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until oh, the oops. end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Oh, God. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Ich mach mal nix. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Das ist bestimmt geil, wenn du einfach so unendlich fliegen kannst. Und du wüsstest, du würdest nicht sterben. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, ich well, bin <laughs> you. you found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. <sighs> I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? <laughs> if that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Soll ich jetzt was drücken oder einfach hier bleiben wie beim Abstellraum? Hmm. Great. Now, I'm very oh for heaven. You see, <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. That's what he said. A normal person would have said, "Yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time." Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem oh. even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Hey! Oh, okay, yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the Nein, hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt oh. me. Is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at oh, this depth, that's I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Oh, es funktioniert nicht mehr. Is the, um, teleport button not working? Uh oh. You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It's it faster, Miss. Just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose. Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole 
Das ist genauso wie wenn deine Kinder nicht kommen und du sagst, okay, dann gehe ich nach Hause, bleib halt, wo du bist. Oh, oh, und jetzt? Muss ich neu starten? Jetzt lässt der Arsch mich echt neu starten? Nee, oder? Was passiert hier doch? Hä? Okay, ich warte jetzt. Deine Wahrnehmung. Was ist das für ein Spiel? Ich kann die Farben voll durchändern. Das ist so ein Fiebertraum. Oh mein Gott! Die Musik ist gar nicht mehr so cool. Es gibt gar keine schöne Musik mehr. Das ist geil. Ja, das ist gut. Das ist gut. Das hat so ätzende Spongebob bei. Ja. <lacht> so, ändere dich selbst. Oh. Was bin ich jetzt? Jetzt stehe ich auf dem Kopf. Ja, das ist gut. Was zur Hölle spielen wir hier? Ah, der ist doch gut. Warte, ich finde den, den, der ist richtig cursed. Den will ich. <lacht> oh mein Gott. Stanley. 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 Oh Mann! Oh, gut, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodlepip. Natürlich. Natürlich. Was passiert jetzt schon wieder? Okay, ein paar von euch haben gesagt. Go on, try out some of the new features. Ein paar von euch haben gesagt, ich soll einen Abstellraum. Wo finde ich den denn? Wo ist hier der Abstellraum? 
Wo ist hier der Abstellraum? Hier ist doch bestimmt einer. Ah, neu starten wieder die Besenkammer. Aber hier kann ich auch wieder jederzeit hin, oder? Oder? Ja, okay. Ich kann immer wieder hin, deswegen gehe ich jetzt mal kurz in den Abstellraum und schaue mir das an. Habe ich meinen Eimer noch? Hat mein Eimer nicht mehr? Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Was? Warum werde ich jetzt verfolgt? Ih, wie eklig. Warum? Hilfe! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh Gott. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Ah, ich muss Teil 2 zuerst fertig machen, dann kannst du mit dem Eimer dorthin. Ah, okay, deswegen. Okay, Leute, ich würde trotzdem sagen, wir machen immer eine Break. Wenn euch das Game gefallen hat, lasst einen Daumen nach oben da. Und wenn wir in Teil 2 reinschauen sollen, dann definitiv auch. Ähm, das war Stanley Parable, die ultimative Deluxe Edition habe ich auch gekauft. Dann geht's ab zu Part 2. Danke für die Empfehlung, war mega nice. Über einen Daumen nach oben würde ich mich sehr freuen. Über ein Abo auch. Und natürlich in den Kommentaren, was kann ich tun, was soll ich ausprobieren, wenn ihr, zwar, wenn ihr Part 2 wollt, dann will ich ganz viel Daumen nach oben da und dazu dann auch alles, was man dort noch so machen kann. Danke fürs Zuschauen, wir sehen uns und äh, das war definitiv wild. Musik